and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we're here with this week's video announcements. What a wild week of weather it's been. No kidding. And it's been just as exciting around the halls and mill. Miss McDonald's ELA students have been working on creating videos for their suspense unit. Here's some of their work. It was a dark and cold month in December, and eighth grade students were working on the most suspenseful films possible that they could create. Now's your chance to see three featured films created by students who walk among you. As you watch these three start to consider which of these videos really puts you on the edge of your seat. And upon finishing of these videos, be prepared to vote for the most suspenseful film. Hey there, neighbor. Hey, I gotta talk to you. Bartholomew, this is important. They told me about the guy that lives next door. I want you to stay away from him. Why? I never met him before. Just trust me. Hey there, Sonny. Feel the cold air whip across my face as I swing back and forth. Okay, Claire, so about our science project. Haley, who is that? She has a knife. She's gaining on us. Come on, we need to get away from the playground. Away from her.
Claire? I briskly start walking back to the cabin. I notice that it seems like somebody's following me. Or is that my imagination? I pick up my pace and am very relieved when the cabin front steps are up ahead. The short figure darts away as I quickly enter the cabin and lock the deadbolt. At about 3 a.m., I am awakened by a strange noise that chills my soul. Three knocks, not tiny but soft. I realize the knocks are not on my door, but David's. I hear the ranger's footsteps in his room, and then I remember what he said about answering the door, so I fastly walk over to the closet, and I hide in there. Then I hear a loud bang. Almost like a gunshot, and I am so nervous, my heart is beating like a loud drum in my ears. I hear footsteps stomping and rustling in David's room. I'm sweating and trying not to make any noise. Crash! Somebody breaks down my door. I can hear the zipper. Oh. I can hear the zipper open on my bed. In that closet, the minute falling hours, the intruder suddenly leaves without looking for it. I don't make a move for what felt like an eternity. When I come out of my room to see what happened, I find everything trashed and the front door lying on the ground. I tiptoe to David's room and see a hole in the door, with shards of wood everywhere. Inside is the limp and unmoving body of the park. It's time to check in with our book bloggers and see what book they're reviewing this week. I'm Annabelle. I'm Izzy. I'm Nashua. And, and we're, we're the book bloggers. bloggers. We're back with a new book, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tolan by Kate D. Camillo. <laughs> <laughs> a lyrical odyssey from Kate D. Camillo. Once there lived a China rabbit named Edward Tulane. The rabbit couldn't move or speak, but he could watch and listen, and he was very pleased with himself and his owner and his house. And then one day, he was lost. This book is not a part of a series, but it has been made into a movie. You can find this book in the school and public libraries. A quote from the book is, you disappoint me! Hey 5th and 6th graders, we're excited for you to join us at Winterfest later today if you purchase the ticket. Here are some of the details if you're attending. Hey everyone, I'm Mrs. Steli. I'm one of the 8th grade counselors, but I'm also part of the wellness team. And as many of you know, our 5th and 6th graders are going to be participating, or most of them are going to be participating in our winter fun event this afternoon. If you are one of those 5th or 6th graders who are participating in our winter fun event today, please at the end of the day at 335, bring all of your belongings and store them in your locker. You won't need anything, just yourself. After you go to your locker, you can report right to the odd where you're going to get a little bit of a summary of all the activities we have planned for today and you will be able to kind of decide for yourself what you want to participate in. Before you even get to the odd though, make sure you have your ticket. You're going to be getting your ticket or should have gotten it already this morning in home base. If by chance you paid for the winter fun event today and did not get your ticket, don't worry about that. Mr. Garlipo will be in the lunches today, both fifth and sixth grade lunch, and he will fix that problem for you. We'll make sure you get a ticket for today's event. 
I hope everyone has a great time this afternoon. And just a little teaser here for our seventh and eighth grade students coming soon. We're having a winter dance in February for you. So you can join in on some of the fun as well. Thanks so much and have a great day today. Mills Web Crew always has so much going on. Let's check in with them to see what they're up to. Webb is hosting a bingo for fifth grade on Thursday, January 25th from 3.35 to 5.30. You need $5 to buy a ticket for bingo, which are available from Tuesday, January 9th until they are sold out. Tickets will be sold at the end of Seawing. Only 100 tickets will be sold. Get a bingo and win full-size candy bars. Bring extra money to purchase popcorn and water, which are 50 cents each. You will need to provide your own ride home. Hope to see you there. We hope, hope you, you have, have an amazing, amazing day and, and a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Go Mills, go Bills, go Sabres, and go Billies. And, and a big shout out to Miss Paul Zach. Go Bandits! P-S-A-M-M-O-P-H-I-L-E. Samophile. An eighth grader from Florida won the National Scripps Spelling Bee with that word and $50,000. Today, we have our very own Spelling Bee champ with me, fifth grade winner, Mary Mundy. Congratulations on your Spelling Bee victory. What were both your winning words? Well, my um, winning word was Brooklyn. Oh, that is a great word. And can you spell these for our viewers? Brooklyn, B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N, Brooklyn. That's amazing. How long did you study for the spe mill spelling bee? As long as we got our um, words for about a week. That's amazing. What strategies did you find most helpful in preparing for the competition? Going uh, word by word with somebody reading it to me and I would just spell it out a few times and then move on to the next word. That's a great strategy. Can you share a memorable word from the spelling bee that challenged you? One was completely because of the ending, instead of E-L-Y, it was L-E-Y. Oh, uh, that's cool. And that is a very hard word, so I understand why I challenged with it. As a Spelling Bee winner, what advice would you have to give for our Mustangs aspiring to excel in such competitions and enhance their language skills? Probably just to try your hardest and practice as much as you can and just put in your best effort. Well, we are so proud of you and this accomplishment that you now have under your belt. Maybe next year you can try and win the national competition and $50,000. Henry Noe, signing off. What is the only room that doesn't have a door? Mushrooms. Oh. What do dads must have? Mustaches. 
My neighbor gave me a roof for free. He said it was on the house.